in the tapestry of military aviation history. There are aircraft that don't just shift the balance of power, they redefine it. The F-22 Raptor stands as one of these monumental achievements. As the world's first, and many say best, fifth generation fighter, it didn't just enter the arena, it created an entirely new era of air combat. Our story begins in the late 20th century, when the world was caught in the Cold War's icy grip. A chess game like never before was being played on the global scale, with Washington and Moscow as the Grand Masters, each move seemingly more daring than the last. In this era of the relentless arms race, a new piece emerged on the board. Stealth technology. A game changer in every sense of the word. The US was not just pushing the envelope, they were redesigning it. When the production F-22 Raptor was unveiled in 2005, it was a moment of awe. It was the embodiment of numerous cutting-edge technologies, a symbol of air superiority that the US Air Force had long sought. Its operational history, however, is a tale of a paradox. A fighter built for combat, yet its true strength lies in its deterrent nature. It was a warrior that didn't need to unsheath its sword to command respect. Today, we will take a look at what makes the Raptor the best fighter in the sky, how its engines are even more powerful than the SR-71 Blackbirds, and why its replacement will raise the bar even higher. But first, today's video is brought to you by Star Trek Fleet Command. Remember growing up and being fascinated with spaceflight? We've all dreamed of navigating the stars, and now you can take the role of a Star Trek Fleet Commander thanks to Star Trek Fleet Command. This game is an open world odyssey. From the Alpha to the Omega Quadrant, every sector is a new story, a new adventure waiting to be written in the stars. These stunning graphics bring the Star Trek universe to life, and it's free to play. As a Starbase Commander on the edge of civilized space, you can recruit iconic characters from the next generation, the original series, the J.J. Abrams films, Discovery, and more, including Kirk, Spock, Data, and Geordi. The great thing is with crossplay, you can command your ship from anywhere, desktop or mobile, with a Scopely account. The new Wave Defense introduces a new way for players to socially interact. Based on Wave Defense teams that transcend alliances, players defend a central point from waves of increasingly powerful enemies. Collaboration is the key to success. There are also new officers, Trip Tucker and Topol, along with 10 new Star Trek enterprise theme missions and 10 side missions. I really enjoy how you can step into the shoes of legends like Kirk and Spock, command the Enterprise or other starships, and engage with advanced tech right out of Starfleet's archives. Battle with players worldwide, join a community of explorers, and forge alliances across the galaxy. It's not just a game, it's a universe of stories, strategies, and friendships. And get ready for the Kelvin Timeline, a new story that takes Star Trek into uncharted dimensions. It's a fresh narrative for both diehard fans and newcomers. So join me, Commanders, in Star Trek Fleet Command. Install now, dive into this rich universe, and show your strategy skills. Use my special link or scan this QR code on the screen. And if you're a new player, use the promo code for some extra content, Epic Shards of Kirk. Battle space pirates, explore the galaxy, and write your own Star Trek saga. You have the con, and the stars are calling. Getting back to the mighty Raptor, let's dissect what makes this fighter so powerful. First, their stealth. The F-22 Raptor's stealth is not just about being invisible, it's about being inconspicuous in a high-end theater where visibility means vulnerability. Every line, every curve of the Raptor is meticulously designed to scatter radar waves. Its top coating, a specialized radar absorbent material, further cloaks it from prying electronic eyes. The result? A fighter jet with a radar signature as tiny as a marble. Then, there's speed. Speed in aerial combat is not just about velocity, it's about the capability to react, engage, and just as importantly, disengage at will. The Raptor's twin engines are capable of propelling it to speeds over Mach 2, or twice the speed of sound, ensuring it can outrun and outmaneuver almost any adversary. This speed, combined with its stealth, 
makes it a ghost on the battlefield, unseen and unheard until it's too late. Many of you know that the Raptor can supercruise or fly supersonic without afterburner, using only what's known as dry thrust or military power. What you may not realize is that each of the Raptor's engines at dry thrust produce an incredible amount of power, about 26,000 pounds of force. That's more thrust than each of the F-15's engines at full afterburner. When the Raptor does engage its afterburners, it's an amazing sight. And if you thought producing more dry thrust than an F-15 at full burner was impressive, the Raptor in afterburner puts out more power than the SR-71 at max afterburner. Now you start to get an idea of just how powerful the Raptor's engines are. And we haven't even mentioned the Raptor's thrust vectoring capabilities. Not only do you get a very fast and very efficient fighter, but you also get two-dimensional thrust vectoring, which allows the Raptor to perform some maneuvers that few aircraft can do. And yet, it takes more than top speeds to fly, fight, and win. In the world of fighter jets, brains matter just as much as brawn. The Raptor's avionics suite is akin to a highly advanced nervous system. It fuses sensor data, radar signal, and environmental inputs to paint a comprehensive picture of the battlefield. For a pilot in the cockpit, this means unparalleled situational awareness, turning the Raptor into an extension of their senses. In many ways, the Raptor pioneered sensor fusion. So much so, that for any fighter to be considered fifth generation, along with stealth, sensor fusion is one of the key ingredients. Now, you can fly fast, have all the situation awareness, but if you can't prosecute your targets, then you're not much of a fighter. Fortunately, the F-22's weapon systems are a study in precision and lethality. Concealed within the airframe are weapons bays, which can house medium to long range AIM-120 AMRAMs and short range heat seeking AIM-9 Sidewinders. These missiles are known for their deadly accuracy and long reach. And of course, sometimes things break down and you need to resort to close combat methods. For this, the Raptor carries an internal cannon. The 20mm Vulcan cannon is a rapid firing harbinger of destruction. When the Raptor chooses to reveal its claws, the outcome is devastating. Yet, technology marches on, and even the mightiest of warriors must eventually pass the torch. Enter the next generation air dominance or NGAD fighter, the heir apparent to the Raptor's legacy. The NGAD isn't just an upgrade, it's a revolution in aerial combat philosophy. The NGAD fighter is still shrouded in secrecy. But what we do know is tantalizing. We'll start with its revolutionary design. The NGAD breaks away from traditional fighter designs. It's rumored to have a radical shape, perhaps without vertical stabilizers, a design choice that could redefine aerodynamics in fighter jets. This will allow for enhanced stealth and maneuverability, potentially eclipsing even that of the Raptor. And while the Raptor was stealthy or low observable, the NGAD aims to be virtually invisible. It's speculated to integrate next generation stealth technologies, making it a phantom among jets. This could involve advanced composite materials, innovative radar absorbing coatings, and a design that minimizes all forms of detection, even infrared and visual. Now, the NGAT is expected to feature a sensor suite that not only surpasses the Raptor, but sets a new standard for airborne surveillance and targeting. Imagine a fighter that can see farther, react quicker, and adapt in real time to the complexities of modern air combat. It sort of becomes a flying data center. Along with the new airframe, there are future armaments that are being developed. The NGAT is rumored to be equipped with next-generation air-to-air and air-to-ground weaponry. This includes not just advanced missiles, but possibly directed energy weapons, aka lasers, and even autonomous drones, known as loyal wingmen, which will extend the fighter's reach and capabilities. Taking sensor fusion to the next level, perhaps the most groundbreaking aspect of the NGAD is its role as a nexus in network-centric warfare. It's designed to operate seamlessly with other assets, from satellites to ground forces, sharing data and creating a unified battle space for all allied participants. As we pivot from the Raptor to the NGAD, we're not just witnessing the evolution of technology, we're seeing a shift in the very philosophy of air combat. 
The Raptor was a product of its time, a Cold War warrior born in a world of traditional state adversaries. The NGAD, however, is being born into a world of asymmetrical threats, cyber warfare, and rapidly evolving battlefields. This transition from the fifth generation Raptor to the sixth generation NGAD fighter represents more than just a change in hardware. It's a symbol of the US Air Force's commitment to maintaining air superiority in an ever-changing world. It's a testament to human ingenuity, a beacon of innovation. In the end, the story of the Raptor and the NGAD is not just about jets. It's about the relentless pursuit of excellence and the unwavering spirit of innovation. As we eventually bid farewell to the Raptor, we await the dawn of the NGAD, ready to write the next chapter in the saga of air supremacy. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, I'll leave links to become a channel member or a patron in the description below. Thanks again to Star Trek Fleet Command for sponsoring this video, and now you know. PilotPhotog.com